for your attention. Um, my name is Ivan Mohamed. Um, this study, the, the construction of identity of young people in an interconnected society, examined the socialization process in secondary students in virtual social networks in Spain. These are some preliminary results of the research project called Learning Ecologies in Multiple Contexts, developed by three universities, research groups, IQ4, Precise, and Nodal Gachibu. The development of the information society has brought a number of phenomena associated with the emergence of social networks, the spread of cloud computing, and the arrival of intelligent mobile device, the ultimate effect of which moves them to be taking us toward a change in having need to the way in which individuals live the hyperconnected experience and which would represent a third human evolutionary force. Different ways in which the new digital media are able to make the transition from a conception of technology associated with entertainment and hanging out to applications linked to messing around and getting out to reach a use that is more associated with empowerment and social and political participation. Many studies examine the changing conditions in which identity is created and recreated on the internet, and the possibilities of projecting an image of one's self using digital technologies. How young people are more aware about managing and changing the configuration of their personality on the internet. The main objective of our research is exploring the form of socialization and communication developed by secondary students through digital technologies and specifically from virtual social networks. The issues dealt with under this objective were as follows. How, first, how do interested young people join the network or are the elements of the socialization process in the digital ecosystem? And the second one, what possibilities do social media offer to stream and negotiate a special activity such as managing the personal, private, and public lives of young people? The methodological design was based on a dual strategy of qualitative social research comprising. On the one hand, the design, development, and analysis of purpose group, and on the other hand, two virtuous technologies, combined group interviews with analysis of the screens and group chats. Accordingly, the focus groups and virtual technologies were structured around a dual criterion. First, homogeneity <coughs> factors, age, social class, two, heterogeneity factors, gender, environment, internet access, level of technological use, experience, experience in participating in virtual social networks, and frequency of use, academic achievement. Her work was conducted throughout 2012 and 2013 in fifth Spanish province. Altogether, Eight focus groups comprising secondary students, teachers, and families, and two virtual ethnographies were conducted, making a total of uh, nine sixteen subjects in ten, in ten different locations. The data analysis and interpretation process was in keeping with the purpose issues. issues. Three main lines of analysis were developed. The first of which was around the building of identity of young people. In the first one, social networks provide them with a space and place where they can move between different identities, where young men and females seek social validation, clarification of feelings to overcome boredom of open up opportunities for self-expression in a space for public and private citizens. And the same. What that is used to document the moment, a chronicle, mm -hmm. photographs just for the sake of it, to reproduce a social and natural phenomenon, portray a personality and state of mind, to seduce excite others or excite themselves, even photographs also. 
The second process would be incorporation. And this shows how digital technology, technology is, becoming, is becoming an integral part of the science, daily activities, in keeping with their, ne their needs, knowledge, and preferences. In the study, where in in initially uh, seems to be a separation between what is open to the case, public, from personal photographs, conversation about videos, or the status of mobile device, and what is close to the case, private, in this case, for example, by using machine service of private chats. Now, nonetheless, a closer look will reveal that this opening up or what might be termed public mirrors of intimacy is limited to the scope of the peer group, hence, running out the possibility for greater beloved and communication with the other world. Some young males and females are interested in the lives of certain characters, famous people or celebrities. Picking a famous person and following him, her, or the network contributes to the entity construction. Given that their opinions and interactions integrate them into a community of fans and enthusiasts of the sport, music, or some business. The final phase, conversions, sounds how digital media are integrated into the public terrain, transforming the conditions and forms of socialization in the different scenarios, and the time for leisure, studying or class, or resting. Time for studying and entertaining intermingled in a way and to a degree, this is a highly different to previous generations making the server interstitial given the fluctuation between school stacks, waiting times, or self journeys. In the case of parent-children's relations, this study also showed how adults have certain misguidance about digital technologies and their impact on family relationships. Liberation of social media means a loss of control over their sons and daughters. In summary, families reflect on these challenges from the perspective of a sort of inherited memory that makes them think about their children's problems based on a memory of their, own, of their own education. This leads them to appeal to apply a mechanism of extra control and prevention to deal with the situations that arise in their children's relationships with media technologies and devices, or otherwise exercise forms of parental control where we, under the pretext of the of better communication with their children. They try to gain access to a media intimacy that is beyond their control, constructing what might be termed necropolisis of family power. Some conclusions we can offer. For young people, social networks are considered to be tools to enhance or complement different areas of their personality as a result of the process of mediation and joint hybridation between technological devices, individuals, and their relationships. Digital media provide more options for managing the contemporary self, provide and enable users to complement and foster, but never replace social relationships. They are also seen to open horizons in terms of access to information, communication, and entertainment without deriving in pathologies associated with dependence, in communications, fear or isolation, or the need to be permanently one line. In summary, a future line of the study on relationships between young and technology would, be, would include recognizing the potential of these interconnected digital practice that increase an individual's options, not only because of the component of the capacity to Strike affection and interactions, and will be participate in contemporary forms of sentimental education, but also because by mediating the experience, communication, expression, and exhibition of users of social networks, they ultimately contribute to maintaining, to maintaining and managing social engagement by reinventing those aspects and the structures of society that from time to time are seen to be dysfunctional. Thank you for your patience.